A Southern California man is arrested in a massive revenge porn operation. Investigators say he posted 10,000 graphic photos of women on his website and then made money from his victims. Good evening, I'm David Onoe for Mark Brown. I'm Michelle Tuzzi, Eyewitness News reporter Alex Michelson is here with the shocking revenge porn allegations. Alex. Michelle, that San Diego resident allegedly made tens of thousands of dollars by turning more than 10,000 women into unwitting online porn stars. Tonight, there are calls to change the laws to prevent more women from becoming victims. 27-year-old Kevin Christopher Bowler is accused of facilitating the posting of more than 10,000 explicit photos of women to his website. The photos came from ex-boyfriends or were hacked. All of them included the woman's full name, location, age, and Facebook profile link. When women would complain, they were sent to Bowler's other site, where they'd be charged up to $350 to take the photos down. Bowler is now facing 31 felony counts. Attorney Dimitri Gorin says extortion is one of the strongest. He specifically asked for money in exchange for these photographs not to be published. Um, when that happens, the government has a strong case that, in fact, he committed extortion. Revenge porn is a growing trend where private photos, often taken innocently for a former love interest, are posted as a post-breakup payback. California recently passed legislation that outlaws posting photos of a sexual nature without the other person's consent with the intent of harassing. But the California law says nothing about website operators like Bowler. The only way you can hold a website operator resp responsible for revenge porn is if you pass a federal law. Charlotte Law's daughter became a revenge porn victim when a naked picture was hacked from her computer. It's like being a rape victim, like being a traditional rape victim, which is why I call this cyber rape. A lot of the followers of these sites will submit the pictures to your boss, to your grandmother, to your parents, to your Facebook friends. I mean, literally, you feel there's nowhere to hide. Gorin says Bowler's defense attorneys could make a First Amendment argument. And I have the right to sell them back to the victim for more money. It's just capitalism. I'm just exercising my rights under the First Amendment. First Amendment is supposed to be about is public issues, public speech, the marketplace of ideas. Nude pictures of individual people is a private issue. Next week, state lawmakers are expected to consider strengthening the California revenge porn law to include so-called selfies that are sent and then posted without consent. Advocates say California Senator Barbara Boxer told them that she's now considering proposing federal legislation. Reporting live from our tech center tonight, Alex Michelson, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Alex, thank you.